www.newtoboss.com. This is Ty. And in this video, I'd like to show you how you can make changes on your ZTE modem, ZXV10W300 modems uh, router series. Uh, I've made a tutorial already uh, on the older website that we have right here, how to configure a ZTE ZXV10W300 series. And we actually ported everything to a newer domain and a newer channel so I needed to redo all the videos so currently I'm now uploading uh, some videos regarding this and how you can configure your modem rotor and back in the old channel that we got um, there had been a lot of questions that I haven't answered yet so I hope to answer some of the questions right here let me just uh, start off with user flash Felix 22 the question was, is there a possible way in how I can disable the Wi-Fi feature of this modem? Yes, you have. So that's the one I'm going to show you right now. Uh, first you have to do is, if everything's turned on, uh, modem router's been connected. So again, the given question is, you just have to want to turn on, I mean, turn off the Wi-Fi feature of the router. So that means everything's been set up, everything's been working okay. I'm assuming that way. So now what we're just going to be doing is turn off the Wi-Fi and just make use of that as a rotor. I mean as a LAN router probably. So what you do is bring up your um, Firefox or whatever web browser that you're using. .168.1.1 If it's not going to give you anything, you probably should have to check for your IP. Windows key on your keyboard then press the letter R all together. You just go to run command and type in CMD. To verify your IP address, type in IPCONFIG, IP config. Then look for something that says default gateway. All right? If you don't know much about gateways, I have a different tutorial for that. You can have a look at that at our YouTube channel on the website, newtobus.com. So again, we're actually trying to root up everything from 192.168.1. Dot one. So that's the one we typed in. It's asking us for a username and a password. With this model, ZTE zxp 10 w 300 series, the uh, username is actually defaulted and always to admin. All right, so password, um, whatever password you created, just log in to that, and it's going to let you log in right there. Then from here, you run device info. Is what you got for everything. I've got a dynamic IP, got sub subnet gateway in there. So again, what we just have to do here, we're trying to aim to turn off the Wi-Fi. What you do is you just go to interface setup right here, click on that. You got internet, LAN, and wireless. Again, interface setup right here. You got internet, LAN, wireless. You click on wireless. All right. So what you do. You just click on deactivate right here for the access point. All right, so if you scroll down right there, you got everything set up, but you'd want to turn off the Wi-Fi. You just want to make it a LAN router or probably just a modem. So instead of activated for the access point, just click on deactivated. So what will happen if you deactivate that and then just click on save for the access point, that should let you save. But now, if you access that again, uh, let me. There you go. The reason why it's not pulling up anything because I'm connected through wireless earlier. We deactivated the Wi-Fi, so now we can't even connect to anything because it's off already. If you type in CMD, your IP should be changed. It should say media state media disconnected. All right. So again, that's just about it. Access point set that to deactivate then click on save that's how you turn off the Wi-Fi on your ZTE ZXV 10W300 modem router series again that's the question flash Felix 22 I'm gonna post a link in there so you can just click on get to see the video for some of the video tutorials on this modem and some other interesting videos you can check out www.newtobus.com again my name is Ty thanks for watching see you back